Why am I low-key giving like absent father who comes back to their children once a year? Well, daddy's home. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Right off the bat, here are all of my socials, and you should go check them out and follow me if you aren't following already. But anyway, hi, I'm back. Surprisingly enough, I just checked my Snapchat memories, and the last time I filmed in this room was a year ago today. I saw that and I almost cried, and I was like, what am I doing? Not getting in front of this camera, not giving the people the content they need. Just wanna whack myself across the head. Not really, we all need breaks, we all need breaks. So if you know anything about me or you've been following me for a bit, you know that I love myself some little object layers. The flow that you see in my edits and how all the components are like different but meshed together no object layer and plenty of them too but you know what's even more confusing than that at least in my mind video star an app that i literally could not use to save my life y'all flame me for this all the time and honestly I get it. You guys really want me to try out this new update and I am really curious. Like, is it gonna be the same type of connecting thing you do in After Effects? I know Video Star doesn't have a timeline like that, so I'm like trying to imagine what it'd look like. We're gonna try this out for you guys. One more thing before I get into the video. I recently opened up a shop on payhip.com. Here is the link. It's just my Instagram at added. So basically Payhip is a website that a lot of editors use to sell their editing resources. So on there, I currently have uploaded two of my project files. Within this project file, it does not come with any PNGs, overlays, or backgrounds that I actually used in the edit. But if you're interested in seeing how I put my edits together, how I layer things, what graphs I use for what types of transitions, then this might be something that you're interested in purchasing. But if you're not, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel and even just you watching me right now is more than I could ever ask for. So. All right, enough said, let's get into the video. Look, I don't know if I'm shaking because of the shaken espresso or the fact that I'm seeing this video star icon. All right, let's open it. To get to the no object layers, I first gotta remember all this other stuff. Okay, I know you do the plus sign, I'm gonna do square landscape, of course. I do edit video. So I'm gonna do this video that I found on Twitter. Okay, <laughs> I need a video star crash course like like I I wish I was playing dumb like being theatric It's just there's there's so many buttons. I'm sorry wardrobe change is too hot I'm generally getting so overwhelmed by this. I need to change my shirt. Where were we? I ha it has to be new import photo. Okay, so okay So obviously I'm gonna be using pictures of my wife. It's ice spice. Of course. She's just so Beautiful and all the people who are like, oh my god, her music's actually good. Why were you clowning her in the first place? It was always good Like she looks like a doll new It's either reaffect or transform or multi-layer or mix. I I just listed everything there, but I think it is multi-layer Yes, so one oh this Duh, this is how you add the pictures one and then you put in layer two the second picture um oh 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 Oh, I got it. I, I, I literally, masters are now called null layer and get created like any other layer. A null layer has no content or effects and its keyframes are used to control other layers. Video star, you popped off with that explanation. No, I'm not even being sarcastic. That's, that's a really good explanation, I would say. Show me. <gasps> VS knew I was coming to this app today because they have a tutorial? Wow. Y'all know how to build an app. This is my email if you want to reach out to my team or whatever. Tap a layer to create a null layer. I see, I see. Okay, so we have our photo layers one and two. To add a null object layer, you add a new layer and then select it as a null layer. Edit keyframes, I think they did. Choose just like, wow, wait. I really, really like how they set this up. And you guys know I'm literally never serious. So if I'm giving a compliment, that means I really mean it. I'm gonna do both layers. Oh, but I need to fix like, I'm gonna do like a pan up, you know, like I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, yeah. Or like I'll do a, it starts on the left and then it'll slide to the to the other picture. So I'm just gonna zoom them out. I'm gonna go back into our null. Okay, this screen lets you, Okay. We're gonna zoom it in. Oh, ooh, ooh, I like that. Do you see that that 3D pivot? I really like that. Should I enter my video start arrow? What? Um. All right, we're gonna start zoomed in. Now, how in the world do I keyframe light? Oh wait, I literally the keyframe was added just by me doing that. I don't know why. I don't remember that being a, a part of video start. You can see it by the red line. I'm gonna do it like I would typically do my mid graphs. So I keyframe at the start at like the first picture. Then I go to go to the end and move it. 
Hey. Yeah. Okay, move it here. Oh, path. Custom. Bezier. Ge. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can easily make a mid graph. What the heck? This is this is a value graph type look. I usually do my mid graphs on speed. Don't worry, I do know how to make mid graphs with value graphs. I believe. You just yeah, I think you pull it that one to the right and that one to the left. <laughs> okay, let's see. Not gonna say a word, not gonna say a word. It needs to be a little bit slower. It needs to be a little bit slower. But guys, it wasn't bad. I don't wanna get too excited, but that looked like a null slide to me. I hate him right the fuck up. Guys, when have I ever been this quickly successful at Video Star? 2023 is my year. It's, it's a null slide. I mean, there's no motion blur. There's not even an iota of it. But like, the whole point is that I can use these. I think we just have to go and take this to the next level. I'm gonna attach this null layer to a new null layer and then have this go into like a rotation. Four, null layer, edit keyframes. Choose which layers you want to control. Three is the null. Yeah, I wanna control three. Okay, I'm gonna start this rotation like pretty early on in the clip. Cause if I start it like right here, you won't even be able to see the picture on the left moving and that like defeats the whole purpose of a null layer. A null layer is so things move uniformly, of course. I'll have it end right there. We'll do a, uh, yeah, clockwise. Of course, our graph, custom. Wait, Loki, I don't remember how I did that thing. Video starts not playing with me. I did this, I did this four seconds ago. Oh, that, that was an accidental swipe. All right, um, okay, this doesn't need to be a mid graph. It's just a normal in graph. But like I said, I am gonna dip this down so it rotates a little bit counterclockwise. I have to pull this down too. Let's see. My first time trying, tell me it could have been better. Literally, tell me with your whole chest that you were expecting that. I know you're all expecting worse. I was expecting worse. Do we think I should try 3D? <gasps> Wait, what 3D null transition can I do? I'm not making a cube. I'm gonna clear all my layers because y'all already saw how I ate that up. Video Star like literally makes music. Wait, lis listen to this. That was like, okay. 3D mode objects can move in front of, behind, around, and even through. And through. There's also a vertical slider on the keyframe screen that lets you see objects from above. I wanna act like I understood that. So I need to flip this picture on the right to have a Y position of negative 90. Okay, okay. Okay, where's the flippity flip? What in the world? It's like a whole room. I, I really think they have some cool features, okay. This is not made for motion, I swear. I see like the rotation knob is here. Oh, it's gonna be the rotation knob, wait. Oh, is it? Yup, yup. Okay, personally, I would have not been able to tell by these like arrows what that means. It's gonna be, oh wait, they don't do it by degrees. They don't do it by degrees. I just have to do it until I can't see it anymore and then I'll know it's perfectly there. Oh mama, we need to work on that depth. It's too, it's too in my face. It needs to be like, that's, you know, it's fine. We'll take it, we'll take it. Edit keyframes, one, two. Wait, I need to shift these over a little bit. Uh, that actually looks a lot better. First thing that needs to happen though, the anchor point is off. Can I like, how do I, no, I want to, I would like to, oh wait, the icon is literally an anchor. They they couldn't have made that more obvious. Anchor point right there. So first we're gonna keyframe or rotation keyframe here, move forward a little bit and then Y rotation, which is this button. <laughs> The anchor point is so off. I wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm clearing all of these layers and we're trying again. I'll do it like that. It looks like one is bigger than the other. I think it'll be fine once I add the null though. I just need to get my anchor point situation sorted out because wait, no, no, I did it, I did it. Let's do this, like let's, okay, keyframe one, keyframe two right here. Okay. Do you guys think I'm actually about to finesse this? Wait, I'm actually, I'm kind of excited for this. Custom here. I want it to be too fast. Oh my God. And I'm gonna do undershoot. So that it's like a little like bouncy effect. You'll see, hopefully. Heart is racing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that's like the same exact pattern of motion that I would have made on After Effects. Like, okay, I did undershoot here. And what undershoot does is it like rotates in the opposite direction before it goes into the transition. But then we could also do overshoot. Let's see how that looks. 
cute as well, cute as well. Guys, a little anchor point dot kind of looks like it gave her a clown nose, but like it looks really cute with her little red jacket. So this has to be my best video star attempt yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I actually really had a lot of fun doing that. Maybe I got better at After Effects, so that's why video star was easier for me. Some food for thought. All right, I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are and bye.